If you're fully ready for the SAT math sections, you should be able to tell me whether in fact this is an actual real triangle. So we have something here that looks like a triangle. This length is 7, this length is 5, and this length is 1. But can we really construct a triangle with these lengths? Well, the answer is no. Okay, so this is not a real triangle, but why? Well, we're talking about something called the triangle inequality. Let's take a look at a simple example here of the triangle inequality. And hopefully you are familiar with the right triangle, 3, 4, 5, right? So this is a Pythagorean triple. So let's take a look at the sides here. So if we add up any two sides, that sum is always going to be greater than the other side or the last remaining side of the triangle. So let me show you how this works. So 5 plus 3 right here will be greater than this other side, 4. So all these combinations need to hold true in a real triangle. So for example, 3 plus 4 is greater than 5. And then lastly, 5 plus 4 is greater than 3. Okay, so you can see here that when we add up any two sides of the triangle, the sum will always be greater than that last side. So this is the triangle inequality. So if we add 5 and 7, that's not a problem because 5 plus 7 is greater than 1. And then right here, 7 plus 1, well, that's greater than 5. So no issues there. The problem arises when we add 5 and 1 because 5 plus 1 is not greater than 7. This is not an actual triangle. In other words, you cannot construct a triangle with the lengths 5, 1, and 7. Okay, so for more SAT math help, check out the link in the description and the comment section.